arriving crowd who are in their seats ready. Is this guy that influential? My goodness, we heard about Pele when he was here. We did a Barcelona game. Everyone was talking about Ronaldinho, but has anything been quite like this? Two days where he has just conquered New York. And this is one of the best stadiums. When you have it full, it's incredible. I remember in 1996 when the MLS All-Stars took on the, the world players. You had Michael Waldrop, David Ginolan. It was full as well. Just spectacular. Ty Harden didn't get all of that. And Joe Cannon, a long look at his young defender. He says, we got to start getting victories. Obviously, LA need nine or 10 wins in their final 15 to realistically make the playoffs. They can't be making plays like that. Here's Beckham. I think it's important, Christopher, and we'll keep an eye on him, how many touches he gets, how quickly he can get into the fabric of what LA does. Abon, Gordon miss hit. Kevin Harms commits the foul. I get the feeling Kevin Harms is the kind of guy David Beckham has really taken to as a teammate, saying, this guy, I like him. He does the enforcing for me. Well, actually, both teams have a young player in that same central midfield position. Joe Vibe on the other side, and they've, they've tried to limit his touches, bring a little simplicity to his game as well. Luke Dover, Angel over the back and offside. Dante Jazik, who uh, moved into central defense when Abel Xavier picked up an injury. I think this is going to be interesting today. You see Jazik, who's not really good in the air, or I mean, he's not bad in the air, but he's normally a wide player. That's a mismatch that you might find where they get that diagonal ball into that back area looking for Angel. Long ball by Cannon over the head of Pavon. Slipping in front of Gordon was Hunter Freeman. All right, Christopher, big game for both teams. What does New York have to do in order to get three points? Well, I think what's important, Bruce Arena had said that they started defending better collectively. Great little move here from Donovan. Looking for Beckham, but it's not there. And, and, you know, stay collective, balanced, cohesive in transition from a defensive standpoint. Try to utilize the wide play and take that in attacking initiative, being positive, going to goal, especially on set plays. We saw Beckham in a wide right position. That's where we're used to seeing him in his Manchester United days in particular, as well as England. He play a more central role with L.A. Tapped over, Altidore chases. Yadik's waiting for the bounce. They've all talked about the field turf. It can be a... Uh, Haunted house, really, <laughs> with the bounces. All right, L.A. desperately needs victories. What do they have to do to make sure they come out of here with win number four? Well, even though they played really well the other day, I think that their pressure could be a little bit higher. They need variation in attack, the speed of play and transition. What we talked about with Harms, releasing the ball quickly. You see they're trying to do that with Beckham. And then, obviously, the set plays, the corners, try to be decisive when they get forward. Hunter Freeman. Angel, captain the side, trying to get that ball wide to Dane Richards. Again, Angel getting goal number 10 against Toronto. He had to wait a bit. Mike Randolph, only his second start for LA. Great start overall for the Red Bulls. Rugby tackle from Ty Harden on Josie Altidore. And they're relieved just to see yellow. Well, you see the players around the referee. They're trying to tell him if he's the last man, that's a red card. They want the advantage right away. One of the things that we're seeing, the first touch in the back, the vulnerability. You see Altidore, when he tries to move, he's getting his shirt grabbed. That's definitely a yellow. And he's the last man. It's uh, okay. very, I think, very fortunate for Ty Harden, who had that bad back pass. Maybe the lights of New York City are getting to him. He needs to get in the game. He's been great for them all season. This is his 16th start, but he needs to show a little more experience. You see the wall is definitely 10 yards back. Great approach here. Ooh. Into the near post and into the goal. 1-0 Red Bulls from Pablo Angel. Well, when you talk about intelligence and brilliance, this is a great example. He knew the wall was going to jump. And just like Ronaldinho last year, he played it below. Watch at the last minute, everybody jumps. He plays it low, just fools three players. Klein, Pavone, and Martino all jump, turn their back. He goes low. You see the late reaction. 
Joe Cannon didn't really move his feet. He just stretched out, and that was the difference. Goals in back-to-back -back games for Angel after he had not scored since June the 16th. And what an ovation after hearing that, Christopher. Clearly, the fans have come to see Beckham, but they came to cheer the Red Bulls because they are New Yorkers. This is their team. They're up 1-0. Well, you see the quick combination down the right side. Players are able to find Beckham. New York's dropping off. They get a corner here on a quick 1-2. Klein gives you a lot of versatility up the line. Now you need the response from the Galaxy. You can't see him, but it's Beckham in that corner, tapped out by Vine. And a little bit more space, they go to the other side. Corner kicks very tight at Giant Stadium. No big runoffs. A set-piece specialist. Corners are good, but in front is even more dangerous. Not a bad first offering. Oh, well, you got three players running into the heart of the area. No one at the back post. It was actually a great ball from Beckham. Near post, he finds Pavone, who's leveled it! Six minute assist number one for Beckham and MLS. Goal number one for Carlos Pavone Blumer. And when you talk about teams needing to respond, normally it happens a couple minutes later. We talked to Frank Yallop today and said, Carlito Pavone is going to break out. Look at this ability. He's away from the goal completely. Stretches up, snaps it at the far post. Late reaction again from Waterhouse. But look at Beckham. He's not even looking in. He's just focusing on the effect of the curve. Great snap header at the back post. And we got a game. Ladies and gentlemen, based on what we've just seen, if the ball is stopped for any minute, do not walk away. Do not take your eyes off the television. Set pieces have provided both goals. Beckham intercepts in front of Vide. Vide to Vandenberg. Okay, how about that? Offside, I'm him. You see the disappointment of the crowd, but those two are linking up, and I like that when Vandenberg's coming up the middle of the field, right through the act. Angel is so good at timing, he just pulled himself in the central defenders, and at the last minute he pulled out and separated himself. Central defense has to be careful. Carlos Pavon, a guy who has had great stints, particularly in Mexico, where he was a uh, historically yes. gifted goal scorer. I mean, he's there in all the record books. And uh, Juan Pablo, oh, I should say, David Beckham, his left foot stepped on, and he's uh, obviously a little tender right now. Getting back to Pavon, he came over from Real España in Honduras, his last club. club. This is a great opportunity for him to get back in the big picture at 33 years of age, maybe his last chance for glory. Well, he played so well in the Gold Cup. And when he first came into the Galaxy, you know, you expect him to score the goals that he was missing the opportunities. Now you have a great location here with Beckham, about 35 meters out, but a big space between the goalkeeper and the players. I think he's going to cross here. It's like the Yankees and Dodgers people. Come on again! Unbelievable! Ladies and gentlemen, David Beckham, assist number two, Carlos Pavon, goal number two. And you see Beckham, he's running over to Pavon because those two linked up. And you got to give credit to Frank Yala for sec setting this up and orchestrating. Look at Pavon, how far he is at the far post. Very similar to the goal that they scored against Brazil with England. Beckham set up John Terry, but even further out. Great finish from Pavon. Excellent service from Beckham. Well, the fans have got their money's worth in about eight minutes. All goals off set pieces. Carlos Pavone, his second. And this is a guy, Christopher, that came into the match a lot of criticism. And I mentioned Pando Ramirez for the Galaxy because here is a much valued guy from Guatemala who arrived, did score the goal in the MLS Cup, but was released shortly thereafter. He needs to produce in the regular season, and he did it. Well, this is the first time we're seeing that little geometric transition. The last pass is not there, but you see the Galaxy that from the midfield standpoint, Ooh. this is a foul here. You see Vandenberg came out to Beckham. Oh. Vandenberg tripped by Beckham. Beckham gets in his face. Joe Vide gets in Beckham's face. Push me, shove you. I think you're going to